mothers moving from abroad back to the country after several months of sick leave abroad. Safaricom CEO Bob Colimo has resumed work today. Colimo, who faced Parliament's Communication Committee, insisted that their big network success had been as a result of annual investments, which have led to good coverage across the country. He further rubbish the claims that Safaricom network abuses its market dominance by charging high tariffs in the market. After an extended nine months medical leave in London, Safaricom CEO Bob Colimo has returned to work and his first assignment being to appear before the Parliament Committee on Communication, Information and Innovation. In uh, Safaricom has been accused of abusing its dominance in the market since it has more than 50% of the market share and being the leading network in the country, it is accused of charging high tariffs which are quite exorbitant. CEO Bob Colimo has, however, defended his company. We would refute any accusation that uh, either there is corporate bullying or indeed that, um, that we, steal, we steal people's ideas. In fact, we've, we've set up a system whereby we can help young innovators to protect their, their property um, and we provide legal support, so legal support for that. The fact that we have a big network is a fact that it's because we invest in it every year. If we are allowing networks to do national roaming on our network, it means that there is an absence of them getting to the market and actually investing in those areas where they don't have coverage. Again, if this intervention is passed, the message that is being given out there is there is someone who invests and rolls out the towers and we come to national roam on them. On why Safaricom has continued to lead in the market, Colimo advised that mobile service providers should invest in good infrastructure and not big numbers, so as to compete effectively against Safaricom. I think even if they just did what we are doing, they would start the, the, the path of becoming uh, bigger and better. I mentioned that uh, in the fixed uh, uh, mobile service, we are starting out now, we are a new camera. The members of the committee poked holes on how the charges for M-Pesa and data charges bundles have been high as compared to other networks. On the Okoa Jahazi, uh, I think you say that it is not alone. Then why do you list people when they fail to pay in CRB and affect other loans that are applicable in the bank? And Safaricom has become an innovation bandit. That Safaricom has perennially exploited the intellectual property of Kenyans, and especially young Kenyans. And these are Kenyans who are inventors. Safaricom has called on the Communication Authority of Kenya to improve the regulatory gaps so as to create fair competition in the market. Aaron Mwangi, KUTV.